Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to detect collisions with a kinematic body. This scene is very simple. I have an area 2D node, a kinematic body 2D, static body 2D, and rigid body 2D, and a kinematic body that I can move around. This move and slide function is set up with all its default parameters, and this first parameter is of course the vector 2D node that you're passing in in order to actually move the kinematic body around. Well, mostly default. This uh, this one is it's got much more digits, many, many much more digits than what you see here. The move and slide function will return a kinematic collision anytime your kinematic body collides with another body. And the way to actually access those is with these two lines of code. So this line will go through all the different collisions that you might have had in the current frame because potentially you can be in contact with multiple things at once. And then here is where we assign it to a variable so that we can manipulate and do things with what we've collided with or so that we can have an event happen. So the get slide collision function actually accesses what you've collided with and this just cycles through all of them. So basically these two lines of code will detect your collisions for you. And this is going to work with everything except for rigid bodies unless you set this last parameter to false. This last parameter is the infinite inertia parameter. It will cause your kinematic body to continue moving no matter what when it collides with rigid bodies. And for some reason, when it's set to true, um, it, uh, this just doesn't work for rigid bodies. You will run into new problems, so I've linked a video in the description. Um, I might have it pop up in the corner as well from Kids Can Code. It, this video will help you know what to do with this and how to make collisions with rigid bodies a little bit more realistic. But for this tutorial, just know this has to be set to false in order to detect collisions with rigid bodies. So these two lines of code, assuming this is set to false, will be able to detect all the collisions that you might have with your kinematic body. However, that's kind of a problem because we don't really want to have an event happen every time you collide with any body. So like if you're walking on the floor or touch a wall or something, you don't necessarily want something to happen. So we want to narrow down um, which things we're actually colliding with. These are three different ways that you can filter down what you are colliding with. So one is through groups, another one is through the name, and the other one is through um, the actual node type. This first one's super easy to add a node to a group. Just click on the node, go to the node, not inspector, but node under groups. You can just type in what group you want to add it to, click add, and then it will be added. I've already added all of my bodies to a group called bodies so that when I collide with them it will trigger an event. In this case I'm just printing out the name of what I've collided with. Next one is also very easy. You're just specifying what the name begins with. So whatever you've collided with, if the name begins with, in my case, sir, then activate the event. So I've named all my nodes appropriately so I can make those collision detections. However, you can name yours, you know, obviously whatever you want. Then the last one is just filtering down to things by um, node type. So in this case, rigid body 2D, and then printing out the name of whatever it is I've collided with. But this is a super simple way to detect collisions. Works very well. You can see it's printing out what I've collided with, um, or the name of what I've collided with. Um, so yeah. Another way to detect collisions is with area 2D nodes. You'll just have to add an area 2D node to your kinematic body and give it a collision shape. Make the collision shape of your area 2D node just slightly bigger than the collision shape of your kinematic body because area 2D nodes only send signals when something enters it, not when something collides with it. So you have to have that extra little gap there. Then all you have to do is click on your area 2D node, go to node, again not inspector but node, and under signals click on the signal that you want to send. Area entered or body entered is probably what you'll want to use. Double click on that, then click on the node that you want to attach the signal to and click connect. When you do, it will create a nice little method like this. It won't have any of this meat in it. I added that myself, but it will make this signal right here. Here I'm doing it by name again and having my event happen. So I have the method for the area, when, I, when the area enters my area or when a body enters my area. And it works really great. I can collide with area 2D nodes, kinematic body 2Ds, static body 2D, and rigid body 2D. So 
that's how it's done. However, I would still watch that tutorial that I linked in the description just so that you can um, have more realistic collisions with rigid bodies. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully uh, you found this helpful. I know I struggled for quite a while figuring out how to detect collisions. And so, you know, that's really the reason why I made this tutorial. If you know any other cool ways to detect collisions that are simple or easy, please let us know in the comments. I mean, the reason why someone might be watching this is because they're looking for those things. So if you know some, you know, help us all out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.